and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Open Hooter, guys. Instead of me going over the 1030 Christmas Day content, guys, it is, it is Christmas, so Merry Christmas, guys. We got quite a few things coming out. Now, honestly, these might be in unison. Like, in, in one dropping, these might be some of the best drops we've had all year in Madden in one single sitting. As you guys can see, I just sold off some players because I'm picking up every player that just got dropped besides probably one. Now, I honestly think, like, I'm no joke, all jokes aside, like, I think this might be the best drop of the year. At least one of it. And it's not just about the promo. It's about the players they put within the promo. That, that makes or breaks it. Last year, Ghost of Pass had some pretty big names, but this year they gave us, like, two, right in this one drop, they gave us two names that are huge. And they made them affordable, which is which is the beauty of it. Because typically they would make these guys LTDs or something. Like Bo Jackson specifically would always have been an LTD, always for Christmas, just standard. And even one time he wasn't. But the point is, is that the fact that he's not an LTD really just eases it that everyone can actually afford him. I love that. I think that's one of the best things they do sometimes. Let's see if there's any Christmas Day bundles before we get into all the bulk of the content and we check everything out. No, it's just a game changer bundle. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I ran up here. I thought I was going to be late for this vid. But, guys, this is 25 days of Pood Miss. As you guys do know, it's Christmas Day, so increase rewards. You guys won't know what those rewards are unless you win. So, then just what I'm going to do subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word, and your console. Once you do all the things you to win, good luck. Now, let's go over to sets. As you guys know, we did get a Bo Jackson, Michael Vick, and a Mel Blunt. As you guys more than likely saw yesterday. Now, let's go over to the Ghost of Madden. So, we have Ghost of Madden pass Michael Vick as the master. That is huge. Now, guys. Compared Vic to Lamar Jackson, Vic is way better. But here's the here, here's like the little caveat to this. Right now, Vic's here, Lamar's here, right? Give you guys a visual. Lamar, Lamar's, I mean, Vic's here, Lamar's here. But here's the thing. In about a month and a half, when he Lamar wins MVP, Lamar will be the best quarterback in the game here, and Vic's gonna be still here. And then Vic won't be up to here until Ultimate Legends. And the thing with Ultimate Legends is that that's around like March. And it depends which drop he gets, could be even be in April. And by then, Madden's already starting to die down, so no one really cares about having a Vic then. Like, it's whatever, everyone has a good quarterback. So I feel like right now, I mean, may, I, what I'll probably end up doing is, if you have the coins, I already have Vic powered up, I've had him. So maybe I might just end up getting Vic, and then I'll just power him up. And then when Lamar comes out, I'll buy Lamar and then sell Vic off. That's probably more than likely what I'll end up doing, because I definitely want Vic. Now, if we go into the set, he comes with Bo Jackson, Michael Strahan, Mel Blunt as the set pieces. Now... I'm gonna have to pick up almost every one of these guys on this list right here. Michael Strain looks like a beast too. So Mel Blunt goes for 400k, so these cards aren't gonna be too crazy expensive. Let's compare them real quick to one of my top cornerbacks. I personally think that he stacks the nicest not Nitro Lane. Powered up, if you powered up, I mean, they're both 95, so Nitro Lane's faster. He has better excel, better agility, better jumping. Worst play rec, worst man, better zone, worse press. Now he has 91 zone, 91 speed's great. Powered up, Mel Blunt's gonna be very, very similar to this Nitro Lane card. You guys can see the stats on the screen. I don't think Mel Blunt's a worthwhile upgrade over Nitro and Lane. Nitro and is better catching. And if I'm mistaken, and I, they both can have really good hit power. That's just that's just a known fact with them. But Nitro and Lane's a, a pick specialist. Like, he can take picks back to the house. Mel Blunt's not really that kind of guy. And he's above 90. Yeah. No brainer. Nitro and Lane is still better than this Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt is a physical corner just like Nitro and Lane. I have Dion on one side. Nitro, uh, Mel Blunt, um, Nitro Lane on the other side. Now, I don't think Mel Blunt's a worthwhile replacement of Nitro and Lane. I think they're very similar cards. Powered up and Kemp, he's going to be one of the better cornerbacks in the game. But he doesn't look crazy. Like I, like I said, in my opinion, at this point in Madden, 91 speed's good. But it, they, there's like three or four more cards come out. I'm telling you that speed's going to be killed. Like, they're, like there's already Randy Moss and Tyreek Kills. They all already have like a plus five speed advantage on them. You can't do that. You have to be giving guys at least 93s at this point. Denzel Warden guys are faster than this months ago. And even they are a little slow now. That's just my personal opinion. Let's go check out Bo Jackson. Or Michael Strand next, actually. Let's check out Michael Strand. He's going for 389. Okay, so I definitely need a new left end over Joey Bosa. Oh, he blows him away. I gotta get him. Okay, so let's see. 81 speed, 88 excel, 92 strength, 91 tackle, 93 play rec, 92 block shot, 96 power move, and 91 finesse move. I'm a Giants fan, so that's definitely a big part of my decision here. He's definitely similar to Reggie White, though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look at the cards first, see how Reggie White stacks up before I make any final decisions. But athleticism is great. Strength, every, he hits threshold on every pass rush, and he's crazy athletic. He's one of the, he's probably the best left end in the game. And if he's not the best left end, he's just a close second to Reggie White. So it's all, it's all really down to preference on these two cards. Although I definitely do want this Michael Strahan, six foot five. Let's see, are there any underlying stats you really ever check on a left end? Let's 
go check out let's see hit power i like hit power sometimes that, that, i don't know i feel like you don't always get the best and the most chances to hit power um and hit stick quarterback but when you do it can be big especially when he's running around the pocket and stuff let's see what his hit power is 88 hit power so that's definitely really really big guys i'm super excited for this michael strand now what i'm really excited for is this bo jackson and michael vick so let's go do those comparisons bo jackson's going for 398 oh my god bo welcome home oh his power up card is probably crazy expensive his nice power up card is uh his mod 10 card though all right so let's compare him so he's 95 speed 93 excel 92 agility 93 carrying 64 catching 91 elusiveness 95 trucking 93 break tackle so he's faster than barry sanders so he's already the fastest running back in the game check already puts him ahead of everyone else excel has the second best excel in the game well one of the second best excels in the game running back check crazy good agility check one of the best carrying stats in the game in a game where you fumble a lot check he like bear he's already checking all the boxes catching's horrible but i could care less 91 with looseness above 90 looseness check check 95 trucking one of the best trucking stats in the game check 93 break tackle check like there's nothing else to compare about this card he is the your word is grinch comment down below the word grinch like the video subscribe to the channel and comment your comments once you do all the stage to win good luck best running back in the game now people are gonna say eric dickerson is better because he has freight train maybe but bo jackson gets i believe bo jackson gets bruiser and evasive he can get or, or jukebox he can get a juking and a power ability which eric dickerson cannot He's two speed faster than Eric, uh, no, no, yeah, two speed faster than Eric Dickerson. Better trucking, better break tackle, better everything, better carrying. I think this Bo Jackson all around is the best running back in Madden. I'm actually going to go buy myself probably right now because I do definitely want this bow. I'm just going to buy this real quick for 400k. Oh, no. Oh, don't skyrocket impression. Both one for 390, right? Come on, come back down. gonna buy it now gonna buy it now before the price gets too uh too expensive and i end up regretting because he's coming down now because everyone's buying him oh no i should have bought the 381 damn i just lost a lot of coins there but whatever the thing here is i'm gonna buy him now because eventually once people are they're, he's coming down because his uh just the nature of how many people are pulling him but then people are gonna be like oh bo jackson's the best running back in the game then he's gonna skyrocket so definitely want to pick him up now while i still can for a decent price now, let's go check out vic my master goes to pass vic this card's gonna be huge I, I think I have to pick it up, but the issue I need a lot. I need a lot of coin. Up, oh, it broke the servers. I'm well, anyways. I'm gonna need a lot of coins to get any of these cards powered up, at least. And you definitely need them all powered up now. Bo Jackson's a necessity right now. Lamar's. I mean, Vic's not a necessity. Bo Jackson definitely is a necessity. So I'm gonna have to kind of weigh the options out on that. This is taking forever. So of course the Mad Madden servers did go down. I'm not surprised in the slightest bit. Congratulations, Madden. We can only play our game on Christmas Day, which is awesome. The day where a lot of people are home. And playing all the new stuff now guys real quick before i get into the michael vick stats over here on my head just want to let you guys know that the presents have been revealed today i personally didn't open any presents so i'm just getting you guys know that they were revealed a lot of people said they were fire people are saying they're pulling bo jackson's out of it they're pulling some crazy good stuff out of it so i i didn't open any presents this year this time around when it comes to madden but hopefully for all you guys did just let you guys know the presents were revealed they did come out today i think they were all were supposed to come out today so if you guys got any presents if you can get on to madden with the servers being the way they are you are feel free to go check them out now as you can see here it says that vic 709k the servers are down he should come down probably to like 500k at some point in which case i'll probably end up picking him up because that's definitely a great value for quarterback of his stature he's got 93 speed 95 excel 95 agility unbelievable 87 jumping for a quarterback 96 throw power 89 short accuracy 86 medium accuracy 91 deep accuracy 95 throw on the run 88 play action 80 throw under pressure 96 break sack now ball carries 88 elusiveness 93 ball carrier vision 86 spin and 92 juke and 94 break tackle so in my opinion vixen are probably the best quarterback in the game for a little bit because he does get evasive he does get um, escape bars and and he has great passing stats so powered up and kept up he's going to be probably one of the best qbs now what i recommend getting him i think it comes down to him or lamar so i think uh necessity is definitely bo jackson you want him first and then once you get bo jackson then you can decide kind of on the rest on what route you're going to take with who you need and who you don't need but I'm definitely going for both first. Now, guys, here's the final card. We have a limited time. Sean Taylor. He asked the Sean Taylor's back in Madden. LTD Sean Taylor free safety. Now, the only issue with him is he does not have a power-up card yet, which is okay because they'll probably end up giving us one for him like in the next series update or sometime after Christmas because we have not gotten one of those random power-up drops in quite a while since the last time we had the video, which was like a month and a half ago or two months ago. So we're definitely in line for some new power-ups. So don't worry if he doesn't have a power up yet, but we get Sean Taylor's back in the game, which is huge. Let's go over stats. <clears throat> He's 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility. 
Athletic systems, modest, it's good. 76 strength, 92 jumping, 89 awareness, 89 player rank. So far, great athleticism, play rank threshold solid. 81 man coverage is actually pretty good because Sean Taylor, if you guys know, doesn't usually get man coverage. Usually only gets zone. 92 zone coverage, so, so far really good. Now his catching is really great. 78 catching and 82 catching traffic for a free safety is great. Especially a guy like Sean Taylor that's more of a hit specialist. 77 block shed, you guys, I don't think you understand how good that is on a free safety. Sean Taylor is always known to be one of the best run stopping free safeties. In a game where run stopping is very important because people run the ball only. And then 92 pursuit, 88 tackle, 95 hit power. Guys, with the right chems and when he can eventually more than likely get a power up, he's going to come close to probably 99 hit power with the right chems on him, as well as 94 speed, 95 speed, great zone, great man. I think this card is going to be... I don't want to say he's the best free safety Madden. I think that that's still going to be Ronnie Lott more than likely. These cards are very similar. Ronnie Lott and Sean Taylor are very similar. The only difference is that Ronnie Lott can be powered up right now. Sean Taylor cannot, which means a world of a difference in this kind of Madden. So personal opinion, I think I'd probably stay with Ronnie Lott for the time being. But the Sean Taylor is still insane. It's just at the price. We all know Sean Taylor back in Madden. His price is going to be crazy expensive. We all know that. So I think I'd recommend sticking to a lot for the time being. But this card's still insane, guys. That is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wish I could have showed you more on the Madden screen, but the servers are down. But we got through pretty much what we had to cover. So thank you guys for watching. 25 days of poop missile. All you do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the console, and do a secret word you hear throughout the video. I want you to listen. Thank you guys for Good luck. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.